Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, we had a short reading. I hope uh, we've got uh, four cards pulled here. Aquarius, so it looks like, um, so you've got nothing but good cards, all right? It's just, you need to do just a bit more work <laughs> on yourself. Um, that's okay, because you've, you've got good cards. You know, if you do the work, this is what will happen for you. These messages are to be informative for you to examine yourself, to have some type of self-reflection, look at you, and then kind of change, shift, morph what is not working in your life. Because the only person you can control, the only energy you can control is you, right? So off camera, when I was shuffling for you, I got uh, heart and mind somebody's heart and mind is not aligned. Like you think one thing, you feel another. And that's funny because you have the new, excuse me, you have a new romantic cycle is beginning, mm -hmm. new moon and Libra. So this talks about um, the need to feel more, think less. So some of you are veering to the side of thinking, 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 overthinking and not feeling. What do you feel? Sometimes the best exercise when your heart and your mind are not aligned is to ask yourself, how do I feel? Because an Aquarius really will think about, I even use the word think, but they will go to how they think. They will, you know, rationalize and make it logical. Um, but you need to ask yourself, how, how do you feel? And then once you ask yourself, how do you feel? You say, well, why do I feel this way? So this is, it's an exercise to get you more into your feelings, to get you more in, tapped into and not just overthinking and not just going to um, thinking in circles. Also, you do have the two of swords and it talks about your heart and your mind not being aligned, right? It talks about negotiation and the need for compromise and cooperation. Either you or someone else you're dealing with or another party or business whatever it may be your your feelings are telling you one thing your mind is telling you another that's conflict and when there is conflict it's just because there's lack of knowledge and um you don't feel confident you don't feel confident in moving forward you might even need to have a conversation because the two of swords talks about negotiation it talks about weighing the pros and the cons um, it talks about walking away from a decision, thinking about it, and then coming back to. So some of you need to do that in terms of love because the new romantic cycle is trying to open up for you. This card also talks about engagement. Yeah, it talks about engagement. Some of you, and I've been seeing that in the cards for Aquarius for a while. It talks about engagement. It talks about, again, a legal matter going away or going your way. So if there are legal matters that you are engaged in, don't think, oh, it's not gonna go my way. Oh, I feel like it's gonna go my way. Oh, I don't think it's gonna go my way. Oh, I... you need to be affirming with the magician, affirming to yourself each and every day when you wake, when you go to sleep, these legal matters will go my way. I will get what I want. I'll get that settlement that I want. You need to affirm it to yourself and to the universe. Stay in the energy of positivity. What you speak, and the magician governs speech, you know, um, what you speak and what you say and the energy that you're in is going to manifest. The magician governs manifestation. It talks about playing your cards right. It talks about saying the right things. So some of you, you need to get in that energy, especially if there are matters that involve other parties. Um, this card also talks about paying attention to your appearance, but don't be overly, you know, um, vain or, you know, resting in vanity. But it talks about paying attention to your uh, appearance here. Um, it talks about, again, negotiations, 
appearance, uh, legal matters, and maybe even a restart, you know, a restart of something, a, a love relationship could happen. But the only way it's going to stick around is if you are the peacekeeper. If you release the need to be right, just let go. Let go of the need to be right. Sometimes this is about, um, it's again, what you say, governing your speech accordingly. It's not always about having the last, the, the final and the last word. It's not always about being right, but sometimes it's just about understanding that you need to keep the peace and understand that the truth will come out in the end. You don't need to go and chase the truth down, drag it to the person, put their face or their nose in it, and then you're the victor. No, you just need to know that the truth will prevail. It will come out. You will be vindicated. Um, also, I'm getting that somebody's going to see you in a different light when you when you show up as wanting to just keep the peace. They're going to say, wow, this is a very mature thing of the Aquarius. And also it's going to put you, um, you're, you're always going to be taking the high road. So again, it's about ascension and propelling yourself above and, you know, um, yeah, just above the situation, you know, it's above you now, right? <laughs> you know, it, it just doesn't matter to go back and forth and argue the points. Why? What are you going to get out of it outside of an argument and then a separation? And that is not what you want because you have the four of wands. You want reunion. You want peace, harmony, a coming together, an engagement, a higher level commitment. You want uh, friendliness. You want all of those things, but you're not going to get them if you are um, you don't govern your words accordingly and you're not the peacekeeper okay you also so Aquarius you also have hunter showing up and this is like the devil card not a bad card because it talks about in this card it talks about fears it says track down your fears and you'll find your desires easily spoken easily said right but what it, what that really means is that okay so if you fear not having enough, not having enough money, not having enough resources, then your desire is financial security, stability, right? So you need to go after that versus fearing not having enough and maybe resting in an energy of being stingy or overly uh, conservative, uh, you know, um, being so frugal that you're not engaging in life, in life's little luxuries. Um, if you fear dying alone, not having someone, you know, there at your side, uh, a partner, companion, uh, spouse, then it's not that you need to walk around and, you know, making fear based decisions. Every time you meet somebody new, you're trying to make them your spouse, your companion. You just need to go after finding the right one. And how do you do that? You get in right energy. If you're in fear and you're looking for someone then you're going to attract what you have to give, fear. You're going to attract someone else that is also in, in, in a fear-based, uh, you know, a fear-based mindset. Their fear may be different from yours, but you're going to have two fearful people getting together, and that's the recipe for disaster. So shift your focus here um, with the Hunter card coming up. Also, this talks about, you know, if you're a man... Um, then this talks about masculinity and maybe even the opportunity to know yourself a little bit deeper to kind of delve into the feminine side just a bit. And, and if you're a f uh, feminine energy, if you're a woman, then this card talks about you needing to overcome limitations, um, be strong and powerful and overcome limitations. As women, we do have limitations um, in terms of institution and, and cre actually creating something from ground zero and seeing it grow. And then also you have limitations in how you operate in the world. Um, you might be a bit more emotional when you need to be rational. Overcome the limitations. You also 
might need to govern yourself with some compassion. Some of you just need to watch what you say, watch what you say to yourself, to other people, because it's not edifying. It is, you're not building up, you're tearing down. When you feel the need to just be right and you don't keep the peace, um, you're, you're tearing down. And if you're in a relationship, think about it like this. You're on a job site, you're a construction worker. Imagine every time the construction workers got frustrated, upset, mad, emotional, they just walk off each and every time. They just walk off the job site. How will they ever get this building, this construction finished? They just keep walking off. They just keep leaving every time they get emotional, frustrated, whatever. And that is what some of you are doing when you don't keep the peace and you just say anything. You are not building. You're not constructing anything. You're tearing down. So how will you ever have anything built? It's like you build a little bit, you get frustrated, you get upset, you get mad, you say things, and then it all comes crumbling down. And you're just like the construction workers who just keep walking off the job site. You're not, it's not going to work. And, and this would also be for some of you who keep walking away from relationships for whatever reason you may feel like it is, um, you know, like you are right in that situation, but wow, the need to be right. You may feel as if you know, um, you're vindicated by walking up. And I am not talking to those who are, or who are, or who were in abusive, very, very um, detrimental to their emotional and mental, you know, uh, capacity. If you are in those type of relationships, then of course, you know, you needed to separate. But I'm talking about those who just don't know conflict resolution. And it is to, to curse and then walk away. Some of you do that and you're not building anything with anybody. There's no construction. There's no successful completion to a project happening because you get frustrated, you get upset, you do and you say anything in that very moment. And there we are, we have the construction workers walking off the, the site again. Nothing ever gets built. So Aquarius, this is for some of you in terms of learning how to keep the peace in terms of your words. Understand that you've got some really good energy coming in, a successful completion to a project, especially if there are legal matters involved. You've got a new romantic cycle coming in for some of you. Some of you, you will get engaged. There could even be an eloping type of situation happening here for you. Some of you need to track down your fears because in your fears, you have, there are your desires, you know. You're gonna find what you really desire. You need to go after your desire. Your the you know your the desires of your heart. You don't need to be fearful. Don't ap approach it with fear because you'll make silly mistakes. You'll make uh, childish, foolish mistakes. Okay. Um, also, focus on compromise and um, negotiation. Okay. Um, you can't make this stuff up. You got, wow, you got the Aquarius and the Eight of Cups. You got the star and the Eight of Cups. This is what you do. You walk off, walking off because you've got all this baggage and you walk off with the baggage. It looks like maybe somebody might even be trying to come back to you or, or vice versa or it's mutual, but you've got to, the only way this is going to stick around as if you focus on negotiation, focus on what you say and compromise, and then, wow, can't make this up, you can have the Ten of Pentacles. And this could also be in career and finance, too. Don't get upset. Don't get frustrated. Don't say it's never going to happen for you. But know that the Ten of Pentacles, that financial security, um, that ability to leave something to your loved one's um, legacy empire is happening for you. You may have been on this road of just waiting, not knowing when it's going to end. When am I going to get to the Ten of Pentacles? But it says keep at it because a hope, a wish, a dream will be fulfilled here with the star card. And then for some of you, you need to release baggage. Okay. 
and release emotional baggage here um, so that you can have your day in the sun, the four of swords. You can rest. You have peace, clarity. You can make decisions for the future. Some of you, you're temporarily separated from your person. Yep. It's causing either you or the other person a lot of anxiety. Again, somebody wants to come towards you. They want to have something solid, stable, traditional with you because they feel like you're a soulmate or vice versa. Yeah. Um, but you need to focus on negotiation here. Some of you need to kind of weigh your options, weigh the pros and the cons here. Something is not as bad as you deem it to be. Somebody is in your life for a reason. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Go over to the website, get your own personal reading so you can pull your energy. And we can talk about what your fears and your desires are. We can talk about this new romantic cycle that wants to open up for you, maybe around the new moon in Libra. Find out when the new moon will be in Libra here. I think it might be around Libra season though. I don't know. But it doesn't have to be. But anyway, you can Google that. Um, you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy ella coffee link it is in the description box if you took something from the reading you could give back let the exchange happen you can also um catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where you can come for the collective reading and ask a question or two you can text your question to the number below uh, and get your question answered all on, all on your mobile device Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.